Hi everyone. Uh, we are gonna review a few trades on 28th of February Monday, uh, and previously we used two D instrument micro S&P futures contract and uh, ETF of Nasdaq to show you how PAT system works. Today we're gonna uh, switch to another famous instrument that many of our students and traders use, and it's micro Nasdaq future contracts so it moves very similar to NQ which is e mini futures of Nasdaq and this is micro so 10 times a smaller big point and we took six trades and we're gonna review those first let's see the pre-market uh, checklist that we conducted in terms of releases there were some minor uh, news around 930 and also some medium around 1045 so there was enough time to trade between 930 to 1045 that we took the trades and also we had geopolitical news on ukraine as usual and uh, so you can check the news and see that because of that the market was volatile and on higher time frames it opened with some big gap again and it was trying to find its uh, footage on this support area so we had some gaps and then uh, it, it, the gap was filling and then it went up all day again and so we wanted to make sure the volatility is not so intense at the time of trading as another filter so we were aware of news time and also we were aware of, aware of volatility and news and everything related to psychology and preparation was okay so i'm gonna say that i had good focus find the energy and copy from here and the stress level low this one the level was for me advanced and for trading hours and session is fixed for me okay so risk level we had no stop loss passage and over trading before we didn't pass daily loss limit we didn't pass uh, drawdown of the account and the previous day discipline score was 100 so we are okay so we don't need to contact coach and we did well otherwise we couldn't go to the trading session so when the trading session started in here as you see we had very high volatility it broke the channel and went up suddenly and volatility was very high so I had to wait till this comes down and, and complete its cycle here and we couldn't trade it at the beginning but when it found the footage here uh, in this area I was able to see that sellers buyers are coming back and draw the dynamic channel and the range was okay so I decided based on this channel take the long trades on this high probability trading area so my channel was here let's see this is a small channel within the bigger channel so this this area this channel and because we finished here the pullback completely I let the first wave go and it's, it was showing that it's gonna have footage on here to go high let's see on here on this this candle that you don't three candle here so this one so we entered in a right over sold area assuming this channel this big one 
is here exists this line and this line and the target was middle and it hit the target so therefore we fill this one so there was no news at that time because it was 10 minutes after uh, the release of news the volatility dropped and we could trade it and so we give news okay volatility okay and macro chart was trendy as you see clearly we are trendy and it was trying to get higher even later we can see that so uptrend restructure uptrend trading chart uptrend and range is okay therefore we give ourselves for algo one two three hundred 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 uh, so three lines are three charts are aligned uptrend and we want, went in over sold area with good risk to reward ratio and exit strategy one i'm using a steel exit strategy one one contract and first target no, no more so that's therefore 100 entry signal 100 and risk management we this is first trade no loss no consecutive loss so yes that's the result and this is the first trade taken and recorded in my estate so let's go back to second trades and complete this from here to to save time i just tell you that the market here it gave another pullback but it's still uh, we had a still this line that didn't broke completely so the channel was just shifted a little bit and and I could see that because the area is good and the pullback was completed we have a chance to enter in this area with this slope with this uh, still we are in down here area down here so considering the middle of channels which is here it's good area with good risk to reward ratio and volatility therefore this one was little advanced so because I was expecting this to go up and my range was okay and but didn't go and now i wanted complete pullback and it hit the target so therefore i will complete the excel file later so what happened then it went down and it, the pullback was even more down here but it eventually went up so i wanted to make sure if this is beginning of re reversal head and shoulder because it was breaking the trend line but it didn't it was false so it went up and then it's pulled back I take it again here and okay we take it here and we exit here so that's one profit another was here uh, again the same channel and in the middle so let me show you So this one, good, in oversold area, looking at buyers that came with the order flow and shape of candle we entered here. So it reached the target, first target here. And now this channel, this trade here, let me see. 
yeah this time uh, this was also okay I entered here and it hit the target again but this one with lower slope so uh, we are we are now in this channel going up that I draw this channel is going up we miss this part this little part and then use these pullbacks to go and then that's what happened so with this channel we were in good range middle of channel here and entry here so what I see is like this expanding we don't know the up area but the range was okay and the range was still okay because it could hit the targets from here 95 203 6 then um, this uh, let me fill this section still now so I filled the, the discipline score of these three trades that are mentioned here these first three trades and the fourth one uh, went up and reached break even and came back so didn't hit the stop loss and came out with break even and this one is is here it didn't reach the target so in terms of price action what i was looking is this is going up here on this channel now that we don't know the end and just seeing the channel going up like this with the new slope and because it broke this trend line and so the sellers came back you can see this started from up here down here up here to down here completely it broke it broke all these lines Now in terms of channel that we create this it if we look at this one that we finished the down side was here let me take this up this we were we we saw this with little higher slope going up and we were aiming to get this with the, the slope like this rich profit and the middle was here so we entered in good area risk reward issue just it missed the target and it came out with break even so we have to fill the excel file for this it seems everything okay we had good discipline score just we didn't reach the target therefore this force trade which is break even we go to copy this area here and uh, now we go to next trade the next trade uh, because it didn't go up the momentum was going little if you see order flow it didn't go higher than previous one so I was hoping that this goes up and break it and in this trade again and this one I think my entry was late I saw this order flow was coming and it stood there more than this area and it hit the stop loss you have to make it bigger so you can see so this entered here and then exited here then I entered another trade here and it hit the target in the middle so this one is a late entry we should give ourselves the score of entry and risk reward is not okay so here till here we are good in here maybe we get 50 in here the entry 
entry with order flow is good with the fractal is not good so miss the aerial and um, but the and first loss so we have to keep track of first loss to see if we have three loss in a row so far nothing and let's see the sixth trade six trade again in good area and we we were aiming to get something like that it is a middle that hit it and everything okay we entered here we exit here and for that we are 100 so this is our summary of recording in excel file and six trade with micro nasdaq And this last trade, the summary of six trades with average time. The whole thing I think is one minute 52 seconds. So these are fast charts and you have to have very fast uh, processing speed of um, data to handle a smaller scalping because a lot of high frequency trading machines are trading in this area. Um, anyways, uh, with the break even, considering the break even as a loss because it was one point um, a small loss, so it calculated two loss out of six trades. From six trades here, it calculated two loss at break even. You you can just say it's it's win or it's it's nothing and calculate one loss out of five which is 20 percent loss which is 80 anyway software calculated this way which is okay we had good win rate around 80 percent average win um, is here around 18 dollar the loss that we had with the break even together is six so win to loss ratio become three average win to loss even with the 66 percent here the profit factor is very high around 5.96 and the system need to have something around more than one one and ideally more than two because of commissions and a spread and so on so that's a summary of how you could sculpt and spend time half an hour for example at the beginning of market to find opportunities using micro nasdaq similar to micro smp and um, therefore if we look at the data and graph this worked very well the same way that micro smp worked its move is sharper and it is more similar to tqq which was nasdaq etf so this is also nasdaq futures and it moves sharply and it's good if you are fast and you want to take few trades and get good risk to reward ratio thank you very much for your attention and have a wonderful day